How's everyone doing guys? Cody guys back again, uh, dropping in another video as always. Right guys, uh, I did that Q&A thing, yeah? Um, for all the trolls that keep trying to comment and stuff, right? I've blocked you, you fucking idiots, right? 42 from an asshole. Honestly, I'd fucking fart, so pipe down and shut the fuck up. And the fact that you keep disliking my videos, right? <gasps> makes me it upsets me it cuts me deep you know what i mean i don't give a fuck right the fact that you're watching my videos gives me views right and if it's a monetized video yeah i'm earning money off your fucking sorry asses right so anyway i asked for people i asked for my decent loyal fucking subscribers on this channel right um to drop me some comments right about questions that you'd like to ask right so bankroll mikey right says do i know shitty ass tramp david charlton right for those that don't know david charlton um is a fat fucking retarded backwards trampy bastard who was on a straight inside strange ways documentary and he was homeless and he was in like he'd say that he was in a wheelchair and they tried to get him into the sweat box and his fucking strides came down and skid marks and oh it was just just a sad state of affairs um no i don't know him mikey uh, i've never come across him while i've been in prison and stuff like that um like i don't i don't know if he's still in strange ways or but he gets he, because he's homeless and stuff he gets sent down on purpose so he can get three meals a day roof over his head um probably on the healthcare wing or something like that but no mikey i've never had nothing to do with him fellow um and don't want him to be honest he needs a shower and a shave and a dirty bastard right <clears throat> knots man who's he's a loyal kid yeah comments on that quite a bit does not man he's a good kid how old was you when you first got involved with gangsters what made you want to get involved in that life right so like i'm not gonna lie here. growing up and stuff right i watch crime documentaries right whether it's about the craze or the richardsons or the burger bar boys in birmingham and all that sort of stuff right not well that was obviously as i got older because that's more recent but i've always had a vested interest in crime and stuff like that gangs gangsters and stuff right how i first got involved with gangsters was i ended up uh, when i ended up being kicked out of the army um i was homeless for a while eventually got into hostel and then got housed in rochdale and off my own back i done my sia training and ended up working for a company um and they was like heads but then i ended up working for uh, a cheetah mill gangster called steve akinyemi he's known as aki right? he's a good man um wasn't best of friends with him or anything like that i don't proclaim to be um but i worked for him on the doors he had a door company with a guy from hyde uh, i won't name but um and i worked the last orders in denton and in uh, hyde for aki uh, aki was a very well respected figure um tragically and sadly he's no longer with us he was he was murdered a few years ago and um, but i won't go into that right and that was it and then from there because obviously a lot of these door companies are owned by heads gangsters stuff like that it's a protection thing i went on to work for stevie swallows from black uh, from blackpool um i ended up and then just by by myself running the door myself i took over my own doors right not that i'm a gangster or anything i just saw a niche in the market a gap in the market and jumped on it and luckily was able to get a couple of doors um and became friends with dominic noon and dominic noon and um had just had he, he wasn't allowed in the city center for years that was lifted by um that was lifted by the courts or his solicitor or whatever and he ended up coming into town all right and obviously recognized him got a very recognizable face and stuff uh, obviously watched documentaries on him um, and was like right so it's dominic and then um was like so got chatting to him let him in the club uh, got chatting to him swap numbers uh, ended up meeting up with him a couple of days after and that was it i was loyal to dominic for for, for several years um even was his co-defendant on a witness intimidation um like i say there's a when people read stuff in the media right people believe the shit they read in the media right whether that's about me or anybody else right just because something's in a paper doesn't mean it's true guys right it's just fucking media spread lies and stuff right and like i say people fucking then you get trolled and stuff like i do on these videos it makes me laugh right if you actually listen to my videos right like i've been called a liar and a fantasist right do I make any outlandish lies or claims, right? Do 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 I make out that I'm badder than bad? No, absolutely not. I'm nobody, me. I'm just I'm just a kid that just like many people from Manchester, um, got involved in crime. Um, some crimes more serious than others. 
um, but ended up becoming involved in that criminal underworld and stuff and became a target for the police because of my loyalties to Dominic and stuff. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm, I've not been involved with Dominic for a few years now, but like I say, you, you won't hear a bad word about my, out my mouth about him. He's a good man. I wish him all the best. Um, don't believe everything you read in the papers, people. For, for the, for, if you've never been involved on the other end of the headlines, right, and you end up getting you end up getting fucked over by the media, right? Don't believe that. How stupid are people to believe, right? People are brainwashed, right? Malcolm X once said, "The world's most powerful entity is the world's media because they have the power to con." They have the power to make innocent people guilty and guilty people innocent by by controlling the minds of the masses, right? People read stuff online and think it's true. Like, what the fuck? You've not got your own brain, people. Work it out, guys. But, yeah, like I say, being involved in the criminal world and stuff like that, it's a dirty, murky world. It's a dangerous world to be involved in and stuff. Obviously, gangland hits and stuff, gangland killings, um, fallouts and stuff like that. Things go on, yeah. Um, living in Manchester, involved in uh, being around this crime and that criminal world and stuff. So it's, it's a dangerous world, man. People have sadly, tragically died and stuff, and it's, it murders and stuff, and unsolved murders and everything else. It's a dangerous, naughty world. But um, like I say, growing up watching documentaries and stuff, it's always interested me. Um, I went to the extreme and ended up becoming involved in it. It wasn't. I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't the aim. It just sort of happened, and I rolled with it. Like I say. My interest in crime took me into crime. My interest in gangsters and gangs took me into gangs and gangsters. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. And those are people that think that I, I make shit up, right? I've proved about my criminal convictions, right? And everything else. People, like, have I lied in my life? Yes. Have I been arrested and lied to get off the hook, right? I'm not going to go into witch crimes and stuff like that. But, yeah, I have lied in crimes. Everyone's lied at some point in their life. Fuck, you know. You know what I mean? Whether it's a little white lie or something like that, or it's to get off with charges or something, everyone's lied at some point in the fucking in the life, aren't they? You know what I mean? All the all the haters and stuff like that that try and troll me, right? I've blocked all of you. I've got fucking I've got. Do you know what I mean? I hold all my comments and stuff, right? To, just to weed out the fucking idiots that try and hate on me. And the fact they dislike my video, at least you're watching my video, right? Yeah, I might be a bit controversial. I might be a bit fucking crazy. I might have outlandish fucking views. But do you know what, right? I don't make any outlandish claims. I'm just a criminal. Right, that's the fact that I've been involved in the crime and stuff like that, and the criminal underworld doesn't make people think, "Oh God, I want to fuck him," or "God, he's great." Right? People look and think, "Oh, he's a dirty criminal. He's been to prison. A scumbag." That's people's thoughts, right? But like I say, if I wanted to hear from an asshole, honestly, I would fart. Right? I got a question from Joe White. Have you ever had a bit of sex off a female screw, or have you ever had someone you know had a bit of sex from a screw? Right? Yeah, Joe, it does go on, fella. Um, a mate of mine that I was padded up with in Forest Bank on my first ever, uh, no, not my first stretch, on my second ever stretch, um, I was padded up with a kid who killed his dad with a hammer, right, a Salford kid, right, top, top lad, um, he's in Dovegate now, but yeah, he, he got shipped in, um, he got moved from Garth, right, after get he was fucking, a, he'd, been, he'd been getting a bit off a female screw there, uh, got transferred to Forest Bank, um, no, he got transferred to Nath, to Loudham Grange, and from Loudham Grange, it was up on AVs, accumulated visits, right? And he ended up getting off, right? And this is a fact, yeah, right? There was a female screw, and the first time she ever laid eyes on him, right, was when she oh, she popped his door, right? I was in his cell with him, we were, we were cellies, right? And the, the screw popped the door, his female screw, she was fit, and he was taking a shit, right? And his head fell off, right, as it would, right? Embarrassing getting caught with your pants down, literally, in it. Right, so, yeah, but when I ended up getting out, right, he was cr trying to crack onto her. When I got out of prison, I found her on Facebook, right, found she was a lesbian, fit, petite little thing, right, dead pretty, cutting into a cake with a, with a wife, like, literally a wedding cake, both in wedding dresses, cutting the cake, right. So I told him, right, he rang me from the prison, and I told him, right, and he's like, nah, nah, never. I said, straight up, mate, she's a leso, right. Anyway, um, he ended up dropping me, he rang me again, right, and he dropped me a script, and he was with her. He got with her. She quit her job, um, and they're actually together now. So yes, it does go on. Um, you just—it's always in the media and stuff like that. Like I say, don't believe everything you read, but like there, there's a, there's a lot in the media about prison officers being sacked and stuff for, for having sexual relationships with inmates and stuff. It does go on, guys. Women love a bad boy, don't they? Right? 
and when you're working in close proximity and stuff, there's some big lads in prison, do you know what I mean? The, the lads that are in the gym often and stuff, regular, and the, the, these female staff are around us a lot of the time and stuff, and do they get attracted to the lads? Yeah. Not me, I'm an ugly fucker, I don't, like I say, I've not had sex in a year and a half, me, right? But like I say, my mate, who was my pad mate, yeah, he did. He got shipped, like I said, he got booted out of Garth, he got shipped out of Garth to Loudham Grange for having a fucking relationship with a female officer, right? Then he came up to Forest Bank in Salford, Cat B Prison, on accumulated visits, and then ended up getting off with a lesbian who then quit a job, fucking, like, divorced a, a fucking wife, right? left the job and he's with him still to this day and he went back to Loudon Grange and they had pictures together on visits right when they go on visits right they actually have a like a photo thing and you can have pictures taken with your loved one and stuff which is a good idea and he actually posted pictures uh, there was pictures posted on his Facebook uh, not by him um, by the person that looks after his Facebook account of him and her together and it was the famous screw that used to lock us up so crazy times in it guys but yet it does go on um, as mad as that might sound and stuff right guys i'm going to leave this here um hope i've answered the videos for bankroll mikey knots man and joe white any further questions guys please feel free to drop me a comment uh like comment subscribe all that good stuff trolls fucking see you later